All right, this video is gonna be a quick and easy one, but it will make your life so much better on Facebook and it'll make the lives of everybody else on Facebook better too. So even if you are a Facebook pro, let me remind you of a couple of things. So the first thing is when you join a team, you should be in your upline pages. Like minimally, you should be in your crown princess page, but most of us are in several pages because we come from strong lineages of leaders and we're in all of these leader pages. And um, after you've been added to pages, you know, maybe you don't have a lot. You're feeling like, ooh, you know, I maybe need to be in some more groups because I need more help than I'm seeing in the pages that I'm in. Um, you can join uh, generally Dawn's Glam group. She is like the great, great, well, a very young, great, great grandmother of all of us in Texas and Oklahoma and a lot of other places. And uh, I think there's probably like 20,000 people in her group. But it's a great place for information. Um, you can join the Cenographics group. That is a group where people just use all of their time and talent to provide graphics for us to use. I recommend you develop as much of your own content as you can, but no reason to recreate the wheel on like pricing graphics and things like that. So you can find some great info in there. And um, you may be like me and you may not be the most creative person in the entire world. So getting ideas in Cenographics is a great place. Uh, Senna Sisters Selfies, you'll have to be added there by your sponsor and they'll provide your distributor ID. That is a page where we add selfies of us in colors. So you can go into that group and use the search function for praline rose and pull up pictures of girls wearing praline rose that you can share with your customers. And then there's also a Senna Sisters Market. Mm -hmm. And that market has different items that are handy for your lippy business. Um, you know, cute lip shirts, carrying cases, koozies, whatever, it's all in there. And the only thing I warn you about buying things on Facebook is because we have these groups, people join them, they offer products, there's no vetting process, we're not responsible for any of them. So um, I recommend that you always use PayPal goods and services so that way you have buyer protection if, uh, if they turn out to not to be a great business partner and don't deliver what you've ordered from them. So just a caveat, if you're buying things online through Facebook, always use PayPal goods and services so that way you've got some, some buyer's protection. And then the last thing is your local Facebook group. So I'm in the DFW Metroplex area. We have one called DFW Area Lippy Ladies. I do not know all the Facebook groups that exist for local distributors. So ask in some of those bigger group, team groups or search and see if you can find those groups that are in your local area and ask your sponsor as well. So that brings me to the most important feature in Facebook, and it is the search function. So if I have a question, for instance, say I want a pricing graphic, I'm going to go to the Senate Graphics group, and I'm not going to post in there, hey girls, does anybody have a pricing graphic? Of course they do, it's Senate Graphics. So I'm going to go up to search up at the top of the group, and I'm going to search, and I'm going to make sure it says in group, and I'm going to put price or pricing, and it's going to pull up everything that matches that. So if you're searching for the answer to a particular question, um, my, cus my customer has application issues, exfoliation. I want to know, is praline rose a warm or cool? Like if there's things that you can't find in your own materials, which you could actually find the last one that's in your lookbook, but um, you can search in that group and find it. Like I would highly, highly, highly recommend searching that way instead of posting and asking questions. Um, because you will find that you get way more information out of it. That's probably been discussed 15 times before, and you will get way better responses by reading through what the discussions have been in the past than by asking it and maybe one or two people respond. Um, obviously, it's facey space. Take everything with a grain of salt. If there's anything fact-based you need to know, you know, look it up in your distributor product guide. If you're looking for people's opinions, though, if you're looking for things in particular, use that search function. It is very, very useful. Now, the next thing that you can do in Facebook is follow posts. So you might see somebody else post a question and you want to see the responses to that. So if you go into that and comment following, everybody else who wants to see the answer to that gets a notification and they click on it and there's no answer there. It just says following. You're like, Ugh. So instead of typing out following in a post or putting a period or doing all that random stuff that people do, when you're looking at the post, on the top right corner, there's like a little arrow on Android. I think it's like a little sandwich thing on um, iPhone. But you click on it and you just click follow post. Yay! You can follow it. You don't have to comment on it. And then if everybody were to do that, then when somebody actually gave a substantive response, then you would receive a notification and receiving the 10 other people who are following that post. So I recommend that you do that. Now, the 
other thing you could do is unfollow posts, turn off notifications. Like say you saw this really great post, right? And it's in a big group and it's like, tag your downlines. So you tag your downlines and then you get 7,000 notifications because everybody else is tagging their downlines. You can go out to that same post in that same area and turn off notifications for that. Like once you're done seeing notifications for a post that has 70,000 people commenting on it, turn them off. Clear out your feed. Don't drive yourself crazy. Um, you can unfollow groups without leaving them. So for instance, if you're in my downline, you might be in a couple downline page, your crown princess page, you might be in Angela's Lip Boss Babes, Ashley's Gold Diggers, Carly's Lippy Ladies, Pearl Junkie Dominion, Dawn's Glam Girls, Sassy Massey, Kelly's Crushers, like there's a thousand groups, right? There's a lot of great information and the information is a little different in every single one of those groups. But what you can do is stay in those groups, but go to the group, go to the top of the group, and then where it says joined, click on the check mark and underneath that you can say unfollow group. So if that has just become overwhelming for you, like holy smokes, I see nothing but lip scents in my feed all day. Unfollow some of those groups, but don't leave them because you may want to go in and search them someday and have that information at your fingertips. Um, accepting friend requests from other distributors. Okay, so when you first start, uh, accepting friend requests from just other distributors is like no big deal. I like hearing from other distributors, especially people that I've met face to face. Um, I will give you a word of warning that as you build your team, if your team starts to get very large and you start to do training videos and you put them on YouTube, you are going to get a lot of friend requests from other distributors. And, um, you know, I generally don't mind, but I do know for a personal profile, once I hit 5,000 friends, I will not be able to add any more friends without removing friends. So while I have been accepting a, a lot of a friend requests, I have not, you know, brought in all of them, especially if I know they're distributors, especially if I know they're not in my downlines, and I'm not trying to be mean, I just know I have a cap. I have a 5,000 person cap. And then additionally, my Facebook feed is filled up with people I don't know. I mean, like hundreds of women I don't know who are also selling the same thing I'm selling. So it's like, it's driving me nuts. So uh, I am a firm believer in unfollowing people. You can remain friends and you can unfollow them to keep your news feed relevant to you. So I hope y'all aren't watching this like, I hate you, you are so mean. Um, but I have had to, you know, not accept all of the friend requests and of the ones that I have sec accepted. Uh, a lot of them I've had to kind of unfollow because I still want to see my friends and family in my Facebook feed. Um, and then the last thing is uh, on the Facebook, so you can advertise and buy, sell, and trade groups. You should advertise at full price. You should not advertise a bunch of sales and discounts. It's just going to cause you drama. It devalues your product. People, it is just a mess. Don't do that. And don't advertise on websites where people can like pick a product and check out by themselves. So you could say in a group, like, or a community group, um, hey, I'm your local lip sense lady. I've got tons of colors in stock. Message me. We'll get together and I'll, you know, let you play with my colors. Um, but you can't go into like Shopify and some of those other things where people could click on it and like check out on their own. And if you are going to use Facebook groups to advertise your business, whether it's your local mommy page or whatever, be sure to go to the notes and read the rules of that page. If they only allow business posts on Wednesdays, only post on Wednesdays. And please, for the love of all things holy, don't just post everywhere and be like, admin delete if it's not allowed. Girlfriend, they have hundreds of people on those pages. They don't need to babysit you. You need to check out the rules for each page and post according to the rules. That is good business. Um, posting outside of those rules is just going to make people annoyed and they're not going to want to support your business. So be sure that you're checking the rules of each group before you post there. And those are like my critical things you absolutely have to know about Facebook to make it work for you and help train you and help you find the information that you want for your business. All right, I'll see you again soon. Uh, my next videos are going to be about launching. I can't wait. That's the best part. Bye.